Okay. Yes, 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 in yes. chapter 65, verse 4 of the Quran, you, you want me to read it for you? Want me to open it up for you? Let me get it for you. Chapter 65, 65 verse 4. I'll read it, but you open it, okay? And I'm going to give you a link where we quote all your hadith, Bukhari, Muslim, and Ibn Kathir, and Al-Qurtubi, and Ibn Hajar, al Askalan, all of them, Tabari, all of them agree on the meaning of this ayah. But let me get it for you. I'm going to read. Are you ready? Okay. And those of your women as have passed the age of monthly courses, meaning they don't have menses. For them, the idda, the waiting period. So let me explain to the people what the idda is. For those of you who don't know Islam too much, the idda is the waiting period for a divorced woman who's married and had sex. How long must she wait before she can remarry? So for those of you who don't know Islam, in chapter 33, verse 49 of the Quran, we're told that a woman who hasn't had sex with her husband but it's only engagement and the man divorces her, there is no waiting period. That's 3349. There is no idda for the woman engaged but hasn't had sex with the husband. The waiting period, the idda is only for a woman who was engaged and they came together, got married and had sex. So now that woman had sex with her husband, she's divorced. How long must she wait before she can remarry? That's called the idda, the waiting period. So for them, the idda, if you have doubts about their periods, is three months. But hold on, they asked Muhammad a question. Okay, some of our women don't have periods. And some of the women we marry, they are young, minors. They haven't had their periods yet. And for those who have no courses, who have no periods, i.e. they are still immature, premature. That's what Hilary Khan puts in parentheses. Their idda, prescribed period, is three months likewise. Now, I can give you other translations, and I can read Qurtubi, Ibn Kathir, Bukhari, but I hope you admit, and don't make me read it. Here it says... I do not know all the scholars. Okay, well, I can read it for you, but if you read it, just read it, read it. Here it talks about young girls, minors, who haven't had their periods, that Muslims are marrying and having sex with. This is what we call a prepubescent, premature minors, meaning young girls who haven't matured to have their periods. They are so young that the Muslim men are marrying them, having sex with them. Today we call it pedophilia. Are you okay with your Quran allowing Muslim men, I'm not saying forcing them, they don't have to, but they can, marrying young girls who are so young and premature, they haven't even matured and had periods, that men can marry them, have sex with them, divorce them, so other people marry them. Are you okay with that? Even if I do not understand or I cannot make a decision, it still has to believe and I am okay with whatever so, Allah has said. So, uh, let me repeat what you just said. Even if you don't understand and can't explain it, you are still okay with it. Why? Because my Allah has commanded. Because Allah told you it's okay for you to take a young girl, a minor, have sex with her, and then divorce her so another grown man can have sex with her, destroying this young girl psychologically, physically, emotionally, that's okay because your Allah said it. But this is not compulsion on everyone that everyone has See, to you, do you, this you change the subject. I didn't tell you you have to, but you can. And many Muslims are doing it today in the Muslim world. And your prophet, how old was he when he married Aisha? How old was he? Was 50 plus. Okay, 54. How old was Aisha when a 54-year-old man married her and took her to her, his bed when she was playing with dolls? How old was she? I think so. She was six. And before, at the time of consummation, she was around nine years old. Okay, ago. nine. Okay, let's go with it. A nine-year-old girl playing with dolls, taken by a 54-year-old man, old enough to be her grandfather, into his home, in his bed. And this young girl sees a grown man naked. And he enters her and he deflowers her. And you're okay with that? Yes, it was the usual practice of, at that time to marry girls at an early age. Okay, so listen to what you said. Even at that time, there were a lot of things that people did that your prophet did away with. For example, adoption. People adopted sons and your prophet stopped it. So why didn't your prophet stop this practice of having sex with minors? Why did he practice it and make it part of the Quran? So that it's now still being done today. Why did he do that? It could be possibly because even in some Muslim country, the even boys and girls of early age do marry. As what as early age? He's so fifty-four city. years old. What early age? No, no, no. Others, I am talking about the other guys who are even twelve or fourteen years old. Today, Boy in Muslim girl. countries, don't deceive yourself. You have men in their 30s and 40s who are still having sex with nine-year-olds because that's the example of your prophet. Don't deceive me, man. It's not a 14-year-old. Listen. I'm not saying it is not possible. 
No, it's not. It's it's actual. It's happening. So it's not a 14-year-old marrying a 9-year-old in the Muslim countries. It's a 30-year-old, a 40-year-old, a 50-year-old taking a 9-year-old, having sex with her because of the example of your prophet. They're still doing it today in the Muslim countries because of your God and prophet and your Quran. Are you okay with this? But it, it also depends on the girl's parents. They can say no. Are you okay but, with this if they say yes? Yes, if they say yes, so if Allah it's okay, Allah, yes, it it's okay. okay if they say yes, yes, yes. Here, take my nine year old, you 50 year old, have sex with her, falling example of the messenger. You okay with it? Yes, but uh, no, just say it louder. Be don't, don't be ashamed. Are you okay with it if they do it? Yeah, say it louder. Yes, yes it's okay. Yes, it's okay. But okay, it is normal that's all I need to know. Okay, man. Especially only for the okay, friend, thank yes, you. Just, listen, just brother, humanity, listen, 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 brother, humanity, I don't want to hang up on you. Thank you for this session. The Lord Jesus used you so people can see why this religion is evil. But come back to me when you have answers because that's all. So come back to me. Say, Sam, I have some answers for you or bring your sheikh. But thank you so much. We'll pray that Jesus guides you because Jesus saved people from Muslims like you that take this religion seriously. So take care. Okay. Ooh. You see why Islam is dangerous, guys?